Hello, Special Olympics Colorado, and this is your gymnastics post-practice and competition stretches. You will be doing everything for 15 seconds. First up, we have our standing quad stretch. This one does require a little bit of balance, so always use a wall or a partner if you need a little help. Next, we have our hip flexor stretch. For this one, you're gonna get in a lunge and you're gonna shift your weight forward so you feel it in the front of your leg. For the standing hamstring stretch, you're gonna kick one leg out in front of you and bend at the hips, reaching down to those toes, feeling a stretch in the back of your leg. For our calf stretch, we can either do it standing or on the ground. While standing, we're gonna press our toes into the wall, getting a nice stretch. On the ground, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna press our toes into the ground, reaching our heels down. Next, we have our figure four stretch. For this, you're gonna put your body in the number four position with your legs and pull your quad into your chest. For the seated lower back rotational stretch, you're gonna crisscross one leg over the other with the other one straight, and you're gonna twist your body so you get a nice stretch in your lower back. For the seated leg hug stretch, you're gonna have one leg extended, and then you're gonna pull the other one into your chest, getting a nice stretch in your glute area. For wrist flexion and extension, you're gonna extend your arms out, of, out in front of you, extending your wrist down towards the ground and then up towards your face, repeating this for 15 seconds. For our cross body shoulder stretch, you will bring one arm across your body, holding at the shoulder area above the elbow and pulling across your body. For our standing chest stretch, you're gonna bring your arms behind you and pull your arms up towards the sky with your fingers interlaced with one another. For our tricep stretch, you're gonna bring your elbow up towards the sky and you're gonna use your opposite hand to pull down on your arm. Remember, for all of our stretches that are one-sided, we do need to do both sides, so don't forget that.